Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Thursday, October 26th, 2023, Thursday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, Grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 12, verses 49 through 53. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son, and a son against his father. A mother against her daughter, and a daughter against her mother. A mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Why would Jesus say that he has come to bring division in our world? I thought that being a Christian was about unity, about coming together around the table of the Lord to celebrate Mass. The message that we're accustomed to hearing about is one that brings comfort. But the point that Jesus is making today is that, while it's true that He did come to this world to unite us, not everyone is going to get on that train. Not everyone is going to follow Christ's ways. We're called to have these hard conversations about what is pleasing and acceptable to God and what is not. Jesus came to divide us on the issues of our day, and these are challenging but important conversations that each of us as Christians is called to have. But again, it's difficult. St. Francis of Assisi once said, Start by doing what is necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. St. Francis reminds us that we're called to take on these challenging issues in our day one conversation at a time, one act at a time, knowing that God's forgiveness and reconciliation is present to all who seek it. Jesus came to initiate a transformative spiritual revolution that ignites our souls and catalyzes a profound inner transformation for each one of us. But such a profound transformation comes with its challenges. The radical call to holiness and to live out the gospel at times puts us at odds with societal norms, cultural expectations, and even those closest to us. It's a painful yet intrinsic aspect of the Christian journey because we're often called to choose the road less traveled, a path of truth, justice, and love, even when it's uncomfortable or meets resistance. And so today, let's pray that the Holy Spirit will come to our aid and give us the right words to say at the proper moment so that we may confess the truth of Christ's love. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.